Now listen up, I played a bunch of Souls games and I really enjoyed them, but there has always been a game that had a special place in my heart. Sekiro. It was my first Souls game, so naturally it is incredibly dear to me. There was nothing quite like it in this genre. Not until this bad boy appeared. I've had my eyes on this game for a long time now and I can happily announce that your wishes have finally come true. I'm finally playing this fellow here. And not only that, but since I'm just a natural at these sorts of games, I'm going to try and do it. Deathless. Not to brag or anything like that, but since I'm already mastering Elden Ring Deathless, I wanted some real challenge, you know? So make yourself some coffee, grab some popcorn or some nachos, sit back and relax, and let us begin our journey in Lies of P. Oh. Look at me. I look absolutely fantastic. As I arose from the disgusting chair, I wiped my skin and I threw a tantrum on the developers of the game, and they swiftly responded. Oh, I got some stuff already. <laughs> Beautiful. Noticing just how much care went into their gift for me, I decided to somewhat forgive them for making me sit in that ugly chair, but I told them that my puppet brain will never forget their terrible act against me. As they heard my words, they shat their pants and told me they would write me a hefty check for the moral damages they dealt me and asked me for my name, and I told them my name is Pepperoni. So I signed that I received the check, I puffed my chest out a bit to assert dominance over clearly inferior beings, I rotated a couple of times to show them that even dizziness was afraid of me, and now I continued my journey. <laughs> Look at the moves. Oh my goodness, I may be a puppet, but I move. <laughs> Better than a human. Not too long after that, the voices in my head started talking to me, and I was finally feeling less alone. Oh, good thing you found me. <laughs> Upset by the unasked interruption of the voices, I smacked my head a couple of times in an effort to get rid of them, and I succeeded. But what I failed to realize was the fact that smacking my head came with other impairments. Jesus Christ, why do I move so slow, buddy? What's wrong with you? Your legs don't work anymore? Because you sat for too long? Oh, I'm very sorry, buddy. But the voices retaliated, and I could hear them more clear now, as they were desperately trying to win over my small brain. So I fought them valiantly, and smacked my head again a couple of times, and my sight darkened a bit. But shortly afterwards, the voices saw my unending determination, and decided to back down and help me. So I got a lamp. Wait, let me see. How can I use the lamp? Oh, like this. Beautiful. Now it's light again. I was stuck in the dark for too long. After clearly emerging victorious from the voices war, I slowly but surely approached the workshop station. And I say slowly, because my speed rivals that of a snail. Oh, a weapon. So let me guess I can... Streets are not safe. Arm yourself with one of the weapons over there. I know that. It'll be helpful on your way to the hotel. Oh. <laughs> sure thing, buddy. Whatever you say. And now, the greatest choice that mankind has ever witnessed was about to take place. What would the puppet choose to slay humans and puppets? The tension was clearly in the air. This is a very tough choice. What should I do? Should I go with dexterity or should I go with strength? Should I go with dexterity? Should I go with strength? Should I go with dexterity? Should I go with strength? I have absolutely no idea. You know what? I think I'm gonna do dex. Why not? Sure thing, buddy. The choice was made, and my puppet brain hissed, relaxing itself. And as it did, I finally noticed what great effect the smacking had. Oh, well now I can finally move. Jesus Christ, I'm now walking in slow motion again. <laughs> Beautiful. Now all that was left for me to do was to put my newly found ability of walking to good use. And so I stepped outside, and I was met by a lot of adoring fans, clearly passed out by the mere idea of witnessing me. What happened to you? Did you lose a train and decided to all commit Sudoku? Because you lost a train? Well, the train is right over here. What train did you lose? The culprit was the ticket inspector all along. Why are you moving like this? What's wrong with you? You wanna impress me, right? You wanna confuse me with your moves? Well, I'm incredibly confused, let me tell you that. I remember that I intentionally forgot to pay a ticket, and so I acted like I didn't know where I was, what happened, or who I was, but he didn't believe me. So, like any civilized Brit, I decided to let the blade do the talking for me. Oh, let me see if I can parry. Yeah, I parry, let me tell you that. <laughs> Oh my god, this is very hard. I don't think I parried. I have no health, do I? Oh, beautiful, I'm almost dead. <laughs> the same way paper beats rock in rock, paper, scissors. So does the meeting between me and the inspector showcases why sword beats word. 
another clear victory for violence. My celebration was rudely interrupted by a voice that welcomed me with open arms to the obviously clean, friendly and safe city of Croc. At first I frowned, but as I looked around I understood there was nothing to worry about. Oh, yes, I feel so safe. I've never felt more safe in my whole entire life. Leaving the train platform behind, I got introduced to something I never used, but I thought it would be disrespectful to not introduce myself also. Oh, this is health, right? Beautiful. Pulse cell to recover HP. <laughs> you don't have to teach me. Quickly going over that cell thing that I forgot the name of already, I decided to train my skill in pairing. Come on, buddy. Yeah, I can't. I can't, okay. Oh, I parried! Beautiful! So I can parry. <laughs> but it's incredibly hard. Buddy, wakey wakey, it's time for school. No mind, go back to sleep. As I woke another sleepy head in time for school, only to then put it back to sleep, I proceeded further. The game threw some tutorials at me, and I smirked. My ability was being questioned, and I did not enjoy that. But I still decided to read the instructions, because I, unlike the developers of this game, have decency in me. I didn't even bother with reading that much, and I understood all of it. That sounds very complicated, very confusing, but... Game, you know what you're doing, I don't. What are you doing over there, buddy? Are you challenging me to a duel? You sure you wanna do that? Cause I'm kinda scared, I'm not gonna lie to you. But you sure you wanna do that? I obviously lied to him that I was scared because I did not want him to know I was fearless. Classic confusion war tactic. As I was scolding him, his friend joined. Little did he know I had even more scolding in me. Strolling through the alleyways, I started to have a weird sensation in my stomach. And it was not hunger. Now I have a feeling that something is gonna wait for me up here. Oh, would you look at that? My feeling was correct. Congratulating myself for being correct, I approached the kind and definitely not creepy gentleman, and since I have the biggest of hearts, I decided to put my massaging skills to the test. Rear fatal attack from behind an enemy plus R1. Sure thing, sleepy head, let me do that. There you go. Ah. Oh. Beautiful. However, the train station cop noticed my loving action and decided to step in. You are the police? I'm not a criminal. Maybe the only crime that I've committed is stealing your heart, am I right? Oh wait, he obviously was enamored by my presence, but he decided to hide his feelings so that I wouldn't hurt him when I would refuse his date idea of taking me into custody. After he suffered such embarrassment, he called on his buddies to try and arrest me, but I charmed them with my amazing beauty, and they all unanimously agreed to let me go. That's exactly how it all happened. And you should not believe otherwise. The game proceeded to not allow my brain to tire, so it quickly showed me a shortcut. However, the humiliation I made the cops go through did not go unnoticed for too long. So this is the shortcut for when I'm going to die and I will need to go back, right? Because I have this fellow over here. <laughs> and so I was introduced to the Sheriff of Croc. His brutality shook me to my core and I was terrified of him. Not because he looked imposing, but because he forgot to take his pills and was stuck beating the puppet constantly. Very sad. How are you doing, Slippyhead? Have you slept alright? You seem to be very upset. Let's do some introductions first. My name is Pepperoni, and I'm here to make your day better. He wanted to show me who the real boss is, and so I had to enter his game and tear his confidence into pieces. Oh, thank you for that. I was dying to feel your attacks. As I suspected, his confidence began to die down, and when he saw my masterclass in parrying, he was understandably in absolute shock. Haha, I parried! Oh no, my. <laughs> his hit punctured my perfect facial skin, and I was fuming, so I showed him why this town was not big enough for both of us. Oh, I can do this. Are you dead? Not yet. Watch right now. <laughs> After the cops were defeated, I was able to finally breathe a bit, and I realized just how many more things I was able to accomplish after I got in this place. Another clear victory for violence. Tired of the ugly and smelling train station, I decided to step outside and get some fresh air. Look at this place. It looks absolutely welcoming. I wanna move here, in one of those carriages. <laughs> I was quite surprised that the citizens of this city actually had Lego, and since I had a lot of time, I thought, why not build something myself? The game then thought I needed some upgrades, and so I did that. Not because the game wanted me to, no, no, of course not. 
I wanted to. Since Google Maps was unavailable in Krat due to the fact that this place is entirely fictional, I asked the locals about directions. Gentlemen, do you know where Hotel Krat is by any chance? Come on, we can be civilized. We don't have to do this. I did warn you that we don't have to do this. Why are you like this? Wakey wakey sleepyhead, it's time for you to tell me where Hotel Krat is. Oh, there's dogs as well. Oh, I miss dogs. Yeah, I love dogs. Let me tell you that. The locals were obviously hangry and upset about the recent tax increase that I heard about, so I didn't take it personally. However, my puppet brain is set to forgive, but to never forget. And so, since there were no more cops inside, I began cleaning the streets of criminals. <laughs> The streets of the beautiful city of Krat were finally safe once again. However, my benevolent actions could not go unrecognized and unpaid. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I am kinda terrified of going through here because I don't think I'm supposed to go through here. <laughs> like, I don't think I am. I noticed that he was not responding to me yelling drop your weapon to him, and so unfortunately, I just had to use my sword again. There was no other way. Oh my god. He's gonna kill me. He's gonna kill me. How can I parry you? Can you teach me? Please. After he smacked my head a couple of times, I felt a bit dizzy and he decided to use his ultimate power move. The confusing, dancing, trap, I got you move. And so I decided to use my ultimate power move as well. I have a sword and I'm not afraid to use it move. But in the end, my charming attributes worked, dare I say, <laughs> like a charm. Stepping forward, the game decided to throw some more tutorials at me, but this one seemed a bit more special. Furry attack. Fury. <laughs> Fury. <laughs> Fury attack. That's what I wanted to say. The locals started to get used to me. They appreciated all my efforts of eradicating evil from their city. And so they decided to honor me greatly by betraying me and killing me, just like true friends do. Their joke was incredibly funny, but of course, they swiftly understood just how much benefits I brought to Krat. And they revived me, just so they can watch me do my cardio and walk all the way back. But since in their free time they actually are stand-up comedians, they thought, why not kill our beloved pepperoni once again? We all laughed our asses off when that happened. You have no idea. And since the first session of cardio was not enough, my legs craved some more and I had to obey my body's commands. The locals saw my obvious discontent with their jokes and gulping, they collectively decided to give me a shortcut so I can rest my beautiful legs. Oh, and I can open this a shortcut. Beautiful. Thank you again for opening the shortcut for me. I am so happy although you can't see my facial expressions because I'm Pepperoni. Suddenly, the voices return and warn me about an impending doom. Oh, a boss, right? Oh, don't you worry about it, I'll be pff, incredibly careful. Oh. I was able to find some more Lego, and since I had so much time to waste, why not build some more? Then I managed to find a forensic patient who just escaped from the closest mental health facility and decided to become Krat's one and only guide. You didn't hear? Figures. The whole organization fell apart. Oh, that's incredibly that's sad. Can you see the tears in my eyes? Oh, never mind. It's just the rain. Own. So naturally, I had to take advantage of his guiding skills, and he told me that to my right awaited death, and to my left awaited happiness and a clear objective in life. And since I'm as mentally deranged as him and I love living on the edge, of course I chose to go right. What do you mean? Crowd Festival. Oh, so alive. It looks very nice. Oh, and what, what is this thing? Why is it has claws? <laughs> Why does it have claws? Oh. Buddy. We were having fun. Jesus. You ruined all the fun. There he was, my first boss in this game. I was quite nervous, so I had to make a good first impression on him. What's with the mop on your head? I'm not judging, I'm just asking, you know? He wanted to impress me with his circus skills and I was in awe. But I had to somehow surpass him in that regard, so I showed him my parrying skills. I wanna parry. But I'm not parrying. Why am I not parrying? What's wrong with me? Well, better yet, what's wrong with you? Buddy, you're very mean. Oh, I parried you now. <laughs> I'm a master of parrying. Have I told you that before? My name is Pepperoni. It's very nice to meet you, let me tell you that, but you hit kind of hard. And I don't know why. Did I upset you with anything? I don't think I did. I need to get out of here because I'm stuck. Please, some personal space, Parade Master. Some personal space, if you don't mind, that is. The fight between us got boring quickly as I was too much of a challenge for him, so I decided to allow him to kill me. Twice. 
We laughed our asses off when that happened, it was incredibly fun. But then I said enough playing around, and since I spent so much quality time with locals, I learned a thing or two about stand-up comedy, and I had to make my debut as a comedian in Croth by defeating him. Buddy, it's time to go to sleep, please. Can you get staggered again? I would very much appreciate that. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, and now please go to sleep. It's been a pleasure. First try. <laughs> Another clear victory. For violence. As I was approaching Hotel Craw, the voices reappeared and told me that I had to lie in order to be allowed in. Lucky for them, I prepared for such a moment and already had a lie written down from back home. Timothy Chalamet. The door was a huge fan of my movies, and it obviously let me in. Entering the hotel, I finally met the voice who kept bothering me all this time. She was so excited to see me that we weren't even properly introduced, and she already gave me chores. Geppetto will have answers, but we have to find him first. I quickly corrected her and told her that his real name was Geppetto, and rolling my eyes, I accepted the mission. I do wonder what's gonna await us next.